bunch of these jumpers and dunkers. Just put up a video, vertical training, complete workout. This is what I'm doing, and this video is explaining the three workouts in there. Um, first one is clean and jerk, Olympic lift, with a mod an uh, additional landing, lowering component at the end. So clean and jerk, Olympic lift, is really the holy grail for vertical development. It's really popular with high flyers because it teaches you to apply lots of force into the ground which can send you way up into the air. And if you're doing it with heavy weight, it's a challenge. Um, it requires you, it can grow your muscles and help you recruit additional muscle fibers. So clean and jerk is great. Um, get the a heavy weight over your head. I have an additional lowering part to it because um, why train to lift a body off the ground if you can't lower it carefully? So make sure that you can lower your weights because if you can jump and you can't lower the weights, then you're going to get hurt on landings. So, yep, moving on to number two, we see the banded rotational explosions um, on each side over the shoulders and with the hips. So, rotational explosion is a big component of my dunk style. Um, it helps me with velocity uh, as well as my style to get sideways for the jump and backwards for the landing. If I jump sideways, like high jumpers, it limits the knee drive. It's less about calves and quads and these small muscles down there and more about the glutes and the core. So I want to rotate and get sideways for the jump, and I definitely want to get backwards for the landing so I can roll back, if I can squat the landing. So um, there's no rotation in clean and jerk, so I always make sure to do rotational exercises. You can use bands, or you can just, I mean, that's one great way to do it, but you can do it in any number of ways, just rotation. And then the third is just jumping and landing. Um, focus on form, jumping as high as I can, landing as soft as I can. Do it on soft ground. Um, and do it all three of these things in order. The clean and jerks did maybe 12 of them. Each each individual lift is one set. Each rep is a set. And then the bands just did them once, and then the jumps did them once. Um, doing these about three times a week. Uh, this is kind of what I was doing last summer. And it's really all I do for straight vertical. There's other things that I do for jump training or jumping with the ball, but for straight vertical, that's really all you need. Clean and jerk, um, pull, clean, jerk, squat with the lowering component is great. That's really all you need. And then put in some rotation and go out and jump. Do it on soft ground if you can. And then add in jumping with the ball or oop techniques. If you choose to copy this, stop if you feel pain. Um, film yourself, evaluate your movements, uh, do, don't do it year round, take at least one if not two if not three off seasons and that's really it. If you want to improve your vertical, these things, Olympic lift is definitely what you should be doing. It's really commonly used um, but this is what I use and I jump as high as 40 inches sometimes, maybe even that video. So uh, I'm doing these uh, until the start of May when I'm flying back to Seattle, saying in a surf lodge right now, and it's raining, check it out. Um, and yeah, uh, so next, uh, I'm taking an off season to train right now. Uh, next dunk sessions are in May in Seattle, so keep an eye out for that. Should be jumping pretty high. I'm going to have dunk battles with Chandler, where we try to dunk on each other and block, so that's going to be fun. And he's gaining over there, so I need to gain here so I can jump over and dunk on him. So that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I ho hope this helps the dunkers. Uh, helps you in your training if you choose to copy some of these exercises. Again, stop if you feel pain and feel free to write us, re leave a comment, or email us at energyefficientbasketball at gmail.com and we'll be happy to help. So, peace and love. Happy training to all.